Hey everybody, X-Ray 311 Spartan here. Recently I've been getting a lot of questions and uh, interest about the Motorola Apex 8000's uh, audio playback feature. So I figured I'd do a quick video and show you how to set that up on your radio uh, using the code plug, CPS, fun stuff like that. So it's actually called Recent Calls. RCNT is what the uh, menu item is called here. So as you see, I've got my code plug pulled up and it's as simple as adding the RCNT or the recent calls menu option to the radio. So as you see, I've already got it in there and that automatically adds the feature to the radio provided it's capable of that. And if you look in the help files here, it'll say that um, when it's selected, it's always available to the radio user and it's not dependent on any other settings. So once you add the recent calls menu option to your radio and program the radio, it's going to be there. There's nothing else you have to do. So I'm gonna show you how that works on the radio and it's really, really simple. Okay, now that we've got the code plug written to the radio, there's our new menu option. It says RCNT. Uh, just so you guys know, you can assign that to any of the physical keys or buttons on your radio. Uh, I find it's better just to use it as a menu option because I've got assignments on all of these already. So uh, throughout the day, as your radio is sending and receiving traffic, the radio is actually going to start recording the audio from that. So to go back and listen to anything, all you have to do is hit the uh, recent button on there. And there's an option there at the top says recent conversations and it's also going to show you a log of things and if there is an ID number associated with that traffic it will show it here but uh, if you're analog conventional for example and don't use MDC signaling or anything of the like it's going to just show nothing so under recent conversations we hit select see there's an unknown ID um, and you see the radio ID at the top, what time the call came in, and how long. This thing times out pretty quick too, so I guess I better talk faster. So if you've got uh, IDs written to your radio like Mesa PD's dispatchers in there, um, it shows up as the alias on there. So if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, for example, um, all you got to do is hit play and the radio will auto play them for you. That beep you hear in between each one is the radio telling you it's playing a new audio file. You can manually scroll and skip through if you want. And you can also hit save on these and it'll tell you that the audio has been saved. So recent conversations, if we scroll up, it's going to send us down to the bottom and there it is, our saved conversations, our saved audio files, whatever you want to call it. There's all the ones that we've saved, and you can go back and play those. Those won't be overwritten. So as the radio's memory gets full, uh, depending on how long the uh, audio transmission is, the recording is obviously going to be just as long. So it depends on the length of these conversations that it records, how many you're going to have in there. Um, but those saved ones will not be overwritten. You have to go back and manually delete those so it frees up space if you want, whatever the case is. But that's pretty much it. That is the uh, recall feature, or as most people call it, audio playback feature of the 8000 here. So any questions or comments, let me know, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you.